As we age, we want to make sure our golden years are as happy as possible. A huge part of that depends on where you live. And here to tell us more about the independent living options at Revel Communities are Heather Barlow and Jack Waldy. Welcome to New Day. Thank you so much. This is important. Um, I'm 60, but so I'm not quite there yet, but I am dealing with parents who are trying to make decisions like this. And there's so much to consider about communities and where to live. Um, so Heather, tell us a little bit about living um, independent living in rebel communities. You're so right. There's so many options. I mean, it's great to have options, but it can also be very confusing when there's so many options out there to understand the differences between a care-based model, more like assisted living, versus a 55-plus or an independent living model. Independent living, like, like at Revel, is a environment where residents can have a safely engaging environment where they're offered hospitality services such as transportation, maintenance, housekeeping, dining, and programming. Um, at Revel, we have 13 properties, and they're all on the West Coast. We have three in Washington State. Beautiful. One's in Lacey, one in Issaquah, and one in Spokane Valley. Our well, I, I'm looking at it, and I, I want to be there now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, Jack, um, Heather told us a little bit, but tell me more about what life is like at Revel. Sure. Uh, our communities are designed to be a uh, communal experience. Uh, where residents get to live on their own terms and age with Empower. Um, we do that from the teams, um, encouraging residents to live towards their own goals, to design their own action plans, but also to engage with the activities and events that we have on site from our amazing resident experience teams. Um, those ex uh, activities stretch from um, wellness classes throughout the day, reading groups, but also resident-led activities like writing groups, biographies, um, film clubs and then we like to challenge our residents a little bit as well so we like to engage them with something they may not have tried before like marijuana classes um, okay sex therapy <laughs> uh, forest bathing Wasn't sound bathing expecting that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, had to, we had to push the boundaries a little yeah. bit um, and our residents engage with it because they want to live on their own terms right. and, and experience as much as they can I feel that there's this whole kind of feeling of I'm creating or continuing to create the life. Even though I've moved to a community with older people, it doesn't mean I can't continue to create my life. Exactly, yeah. I like that. There's something um, Revel does, it's a membership. Tell me how yes. it works. Membership is, um, you're, you live at, Rev, at Revel, but you're part of a membership of all of the Revel communities. So as a member, you're, you get access to our travel club. We have 13 properties, and you can stay at any one of our properties for up to seven days a year, and that's complimentary on us. We like our residents to be friends with other Revel community residents and just feel a part of something bigger. Uh, your monthly membership, though, does include your apartment home and all of your, your utility costs, including your cable, um, housekeeping services, transportation, dining in our restaurant on property, um, and so much more. So if I'm a member, if I'm at Revel, then that membership lets me basically vacation at these other properties. It does. And, and, but, but I still have those same amenities that I'm used to. Exactly. You can count on them. As you travel to another Revel community, you can count on right. the, the excellence and the high-end amenity offerings. Oh, I love that idea. And Jack, are they do, is Revel doing anything special for the holidays? Oh, yeah. We, the holidays are the big time at Revel communities. Um, we have uh, individual activities going on again with uh, and some fundraising ideas as well. Uh, Let us okay. Santa is going to be a big one in a lot of our communities this year and also toy drives and other fundraising opportunities. Um, but a big celebration at our Isquil location is going to be the Resident Choir. The Resident Choir was established this year. They'll be doing some in-house performances but they're also going to be performing in Isquil at Gilman Village uh, on Tuesday the 12th of December at 2.30 p.m. Nice. And uh, across all our communities we're so excited to, to introduce the holidays into uh, this year. So it's just, the choir is just at the Issaquah location is, yeah. and they're performing. Yeah. I love that idea and I, I just, I really love the idea, like I said, of that it feels like I get to continue to create my life instead of how sometimes it can feel like I've, I have to stop living the life that I wanted. You can just get started, Susie, when yeah. you move into Rebel Community. <laughs> we have a lot of people pick up new that. hobbies and introduce yeah. themselves to new things. It's great. It looks beautiful and it looks like a lot of fun. So <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. To learn more about Rebel Communities and what we discussed today, just visit the website on your screen. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Rebel Communities.